Yo guys, what's up? And today we are actually going to be doing like doing a bit of an unboxing, and we're actually do, going to be doing a full um, restoration of these Air Jordan Sevens. As you can see, these are pretty much damaged. You've got the front sole here uh, with like black markings, so we're going to try and get rid of those. We're going to try and get rid of some of these marks in the front here. Some of the paint's actually peeling off, so we can add some paint onto that. Um, some nice white paint. Do it also on the top here and on the side. We're going to clean these laces up, obviously. And um, yeah, I think this is the first pair. That's the left shoe and now the right shoe. So these are actually not in too bad condition. Now we've got the uh, nice like chrome um, end of the laces. They are a bit peeling off with the paint. So obviously, as you can see here, it is quite like black up here. So we can paint over that. You can paint on the actual sole itself. Um, again, with the um, sole here, it is quite black. So we can paint over that as well. Not bad to colour in here actually. We can keep that. And then you can do a nice clean and um yeah not looking too bad to be honest came with the original shoe as well uh, original uh, box so not too bad so what we're actually going to be doing are actually going to be adding in um these sort of like shoe uh, things i don't really know what you call them um but i guess this will get rid of the crease in the front of the shoe if we leave them in um while washing but first what we're going to actually be doing is actually take away these laces so um time that stop so as you can see now we have actually taken all the laces out now and uh, we're going to be adding these in um, to reduce the creasing of the shoe so um, yeah let's get on to this Okay guys, so as you can see here, we have put these in, they are looking very nice at the moment, so what we're going to be doing is actually washing these now, um, and then I'm probably going to wash them as well, with probably just, um, I'm going to use like household, um, household, um, like, um, sort of like cleaning, um, cleaning liquids, so yeah, hopefully you guys, um, will see what I use, and um, yeah, it's very, it's a much cheaper option than what people, mo most people use, um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So guys, what you need to have now is, I've got here a bucket of water, okay, I've got my um, Jordans right here, and I've got the laces here, I've got a hair dryer to, to actually walk, like, um, to dry the shoes down, and what I've also got is some washing up liquid to clean the shoes, I've also got a small brush to brush the shoes with, so yeah, here we go. So what we want to actually want to do is actually add a small amount of this um, washing up liquid. So back to here now. Right, that should be enough. Uh, and then what we want to do is kind of shake it around. Right there you go, and you should be done. So yeah, let's get on with this process and I'll show you now in time up now. Let's go. So guys, we have finished the um, the washing parts. As you can see, these came out very nice and clean. And uh, what we're actually going to be doing now is actually just drying it down with some uh, like some tissue here. And uh, what we're going to do is probably like take uh, one or two pieces off it itself. And we're just going to dry them completely. And then we're going to use this uh, the other process of actually using a hair dryer to clean like uh, to dry it off actually. As you can see, we managed to get the black parts off here just some around the sides and then hopefully we might be able to get all of it off as you can see very nice and white um, sort of paint job on this at the moment but we are going to paint over this anyway because it does need a repaint I'm going to try and get the soles off um, now and then hopefully it should be okay then but still we've got to dry this other shoe as well these came out really nice as well um, I'll show you like a before and after sort of like um, if I to see how well it actually came out so as you can see we did the same again, managed to get the underneath of it and then yeah, we're going to dry it down with a hair dryer and you'll see this in time lapse mode. So guys these shoes are nice and dry now, these are ready for paint, um, so obviously we're going to paint on um, this part here because it has 
uh, like lost a paint job here and it has lost a, a quite a wrong side actually I can't find it now you can in, zoom in it's fine on there it's just really like I don't know it's just around the sides so I'll pick out the places that we need to paint and hopefully then we can get this paint job done so as you can see we are, we are back with this new setup so we're on um, a new level so we can actually um, paint this now um, we've got the shoes here as you can see um, we've got some tape to cover up the parts that we don't need to paint and um, we've got this white paint here very good paint to use and also we've got some paint brushes dipped in water so they lose their stiffness um, so what we're first going to be doing is actually um, painting this side here of the shoe um, just to get rid of this black mark here and maybe just give it a nice repaint um, so it looks nice and fresh so yeah I'll time up this now and hopefully you guys will enjoy So guys, as you can see here, we are ready to paint now, and let's go. So guys, the first brush we're actually going to be using is this brush here, um, and then for more, like, more detailed parts, we will be using this brush here. So hopefully this paint job goes good. So that's what we're going to be doing now is actually, um, like, I don't know if you can see now, but what we've actually done is painted on like this, um, sort of the side part here. Now we're going to drift on to move, to move on to painting this completely now. So um, yeah, let's get on to it. So what I'll do now, I'll show you like, how to paint your shoe. So what you want to do, you want to go on quite some quick motions. You don't really, want to really go too slow. You want to go quite fast. I need to watch out for the ridges here, obviously, but um, if they go through it, it doesn't really matter much. Um, just need to get the right amount of paint, cover the whole, like, sort of the leather parts here. Um, and of course, this is obviously all white, so if you do go over some stuff, like, mistakenly, then it's not a problem. But as long as, if you don't go over this blue part here, then you should be okay. Um, so let's just keep on going now, so... I'm actually going to cover this up in white as well, only due to the fact that it's like a light touch of colour a bit, and um, obviously this black mark just around here. Um, just slightly, do it nice and gently, and then move quite fast as well. So bring this up nicely around, and then keep on pacing it around here. Movements. So as you can see here, we put this new colour on and it looks very nice here as you can see there. So yeah, I'm going to time up this once again and uh, yeah, hopefully this will be uh, the progress you get better and better. So guys, as you see here, we have managed to get the marking off, or most of the marking off at the front here. It looks very nice at the moment, and uh, yeah, we're going to continue on painting the side of it. I'll turn off a little bit more of it, and then hopefully we'll finish in on that. Uh, only because I don't want you guys to be hanging around quite a bit. So obviously, I'm going to do the other side now. I'm going to be doing the outer um, layer, as you see, saw before, and the side is the inner and the actual... Um, this sort of the mid part of the shoe itself so I'm going to do the, um, the outside part now so hopefully you guys will enjoy this part
So to start off how much this actually costs, we've got this paint here which costs two pounds only from eBay. We've also got um, these brushes here, these 12 brushes actually cost one pound ninety-five from eBay as well. We've got this tape that will be covering up um, the shoe and this actually cost about one pound. We've got this washing up liquid to, to actually clean the shoe and this is only two pounds. And um, yeah, that's all you really need um, to find your sink collection. If you do um, actually want to see another one of this restoration, as you can see, it's looking absolutely fire as hell. So please like, subscribe, and comment down below for um, any um, recommendations. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and see you.